these kids. They're falling off a cliff. You gotta catch them before they hit the bottom. Batten's is a terrible, nasty disease that needs to be wiped off the face of the earth. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible disease. It's torture for the parents. Layla, she has CLN2 Batten's disease. She was just completely normal. Hey, Papa. At three, they start having seizures. And my daughter was seizing every day. And then they start to regress. They have movement disorders. They go blind. They become demented. So they lose language, and they lose the ability to walk. They're wheelchair bound at about five years of age. They're usually on a feeding tube by six years of age and are in a semi-vegetative state up until when they pass away at the age of 10. A genetic counselor called me and said, your daughter has CLN2. And he said, I'm sorry, this is it. There's no treatment. You know, a disease from hell, one that just really takes everything away from a child. The standard of care over 30 years has not altered the course of the disease one iota. It's devastation. We're looking for a lifeboat in a sea of devastation. We want to keep our kids alive. We were told in 2009 that my son Noah was in a house that was on fire. We went out and tried to find a hose, tried to find a shovel to throw dirt on the fire, tried to do anything we could to save our son. It's so hard for you to see that, that it's like you have to help and that's really a spring that unleashed the company's energy to go after patients with this terrible disease. We had all the tools at our fingertips to do it, but there's some things in here that no one's ever done before, so there's bound to be questions. The only thing we knew was this was our only chance. These kids need something, and if I don't do it, I don't know who else could do it. The possibility to treat this disease was so big that we decided to go like a tank in that direction. The sense of urgency on this disease is different. And we're working on a timeline that is light speed compared to normal drug development. We are really trying to get the therapy to the patients as fast as we can. A child coming from the United States, UK, Italy, France, Romania, Montenegro. The kids who have that disease right now, it hasn't been quick enough. Benora is really the first time we've had to think, how can we deliver this differently? It's an enzyme replacement therapy that's going into the brain. Everybody was worried about having to drill holes in skulls and put catheters in brains. If we were playing by a playbook, we would know exactly what would come next and we'd be doing something a hundred companies had done before. There's unknowns that are coming. There's going to be tornadoes coming our way. There's going to be trees falling in our way, but we're going to run through it. We want to help those kids and we want to help those families. And if that means weekends, nights, we're going to do it. And it's like a mission. Now it's a battle. I just want to win this thing. The British FDA said, you guys are heroes for taking on this disease. And I was just like stunned. You know, I've never heard that in my career. The Pope. When he came over, I was just stunned. And he hugged and kissed every single of our NCL children. And he blessed the program to move forward. It's very rare that you actually look at a readout and go, holy shit, I've got something. And we did. And now even more, it's a race against time. Because now you, you know that you might have something in your hand. Don't stop. Keep going. You know, you're doing it for a reason. It's your child. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Most importantly, we've reached a milestone. We're part of the way up to the summit, but we're not quite there yet. So optimism, perseverance, and hard work for the children. You've got one swing, and it's got to be a home run.